first time for everything. Yeah, right? <laughs> What's up guys, David Hoffman here from David's Been Here, coming at you from Sherman Oaks, Los Angeles, California. Today I'm so excited because I'm here with Elise Mosca. Elise, you Hi, ready? I'm so ready. Awesome. Always ready to eat. So let me ask you a question. Okay. What do you know about Indian cuisine? Hmm, Indian. Well, I know that it's hearty and okay. a lot of spices. And spicy is the, the general you know idea that you have because you could number the spice. Exactly. So that, the, that's my kind of idea of Indian food. But. Perfect. And here today we're at Taste of India and this is Northern Indian cuisine. So Northern Indian cuisine is more the curries, more the creamy okay. dishes. Okay, so we're gonna have a lot of creamy dishes, lots of bread, and then obviously we're gonna try the one thing you have to try, the biryani, the king of dishes. Mm. So you don't know that much about it, right? Not that much, you're okay. gonna teach me. Perfect, <laughs> so you were on The Bachelor. Yes. Tell me about yourself. I I was on The Bachelor, you might know me from that, and Bachelor in Paradise. I love LA, I'm from the East Coast. I love to eat, so I'm a big foodie. So I definitely work out a lot to burn off all the calories because I really do love to eat. That's, <laughs> let's go, let's do it. I'm right, I'm hungry. My energy gets a lot better when I eat. <laughs> Perfect. All right. My man, how you doing? Pretty good, man. Welcome to Taste of Media and Sherman Oaks, the one and only on the boulevard. My name is Suki, and uh, let's get this going. Let's go. You, you haven't been to an Indian kitchen before, right? No, never. This is exciting. Oh, you have no idea what th what's gonna go on here. It's my, gonna be awesome. My dad makes kitchens, so I love you know kitchens. Of course, my Italian father makes kitchens. <laughs> it goes <laughs> hand in hand. Hey, how you doing? Hello. Everything good? Hi. Very good, very good. The chef and the owner, my pops. Awesome. Wonderful. He's the one who runs the show behind here. Where are you guys from in India? Punjabi? Yeah. Punjabi. So we're gonna get a lot of creamy, buttery stuff today. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. What is this called? So this is the tandoor. This is the clay oven, okay? So this is where all the, basically the juicy meat gets baked and also all the bread is made in here. This is the best. I need, okay, Dad, we gotta put these in the kitchen too. This is incredible. Wow, cool. Every single Indian restaurant has this mm. because there's no other way to make the naan. Okay. If you make naan any other way, okay. it's incorrect if you do it any other way. So we're doing something in tandoor today. We're doing uh, some naan and then also... Some naan and we're doing some shrimp. Some shrimp. Shrimp tandoori. I love shrimp. Seafood is my favorite, so that's perfect. Woohoo! So garam masala, that is basically the spice mix that every single restaurant household makes by themselves. They just mix spices and it's a garam. Garam. Garam masala. Yeah. Where do you get all the spices? This is for all India. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they, they bring it out from, from India. India. Wow. You know, there's so many Indians in America now. It's like, I don't even know how many million now, you know? And you know how hot that is? 500 degrees. Wow, 500. That's incredible. I never, I, I mean, obviously we have the grill, but that is so cool. And the bread is made this way, and the seafood. This is really interesting. Yeah, so this, this is called a stuff naan. The, I've had never had this stuff on. The chow masala. A little bit of the drizzle. And you just wrap this bad boy up. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So you make it almost into like a momo and then you and then you roll it out again, right? Yes, sir. Because you're Italian, I'll tell you, this resembles the closest thing to a pizza. This is like a pizza, obviously Indian style. Every culture has their pizza, you know? So my Ukrainian grandmother would make thoyed, and, and so the cheese and the bread, and, and then you have this, which, do you put anything else besides cheese? So in India, this will be a disco naan, because the spices in your mouth will make you move around. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, I'm getting very excited. <laughs> wow. A little bit of cumin, a little oil, a little bit of onion, and tomato, a few more. Okra, or the salt, fry masala, dry masala. What do you want? Do you want? Not too spicy. Not too spicy, mild, mild, mild first. Mild, okay. Oil, okay. Just a little bit of oil. You're gonna like it. The, the color's amazing, right? Yeah. Oh, that's what my mom always said. When you see the colors, that's when you know it's good. It's colorful. Oh. Wow. 
Yeah, this is what makes it the cream. So I'm gonna educate you. This is the national dish of Great Britain. Okay. Of Great Britain. Oh, wow. I, I had no idea. No one knows. That's so cool. I'm ready. I'm actually really hungry, man. I'm okay. hungry. I ate a lot today, but I'm starving. Oh, okay. <laughs> My stomach's growling. So, it looks delicious. And then I'll call this the non-slap. The non-slap. <laughs> Slap that. And you just gotta put a little bit of oil before this bad boy goes in. Glad I worked out for two hours this morning. <laughs> wow. This is so delicious. Oh, yeah, it's good, it's good. Thank you. I love vegetables. This looks so delicious. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Oh, that's great. Okay. Are you ready? I am so ready. All right, so what do we have? Do you know any of the dishes? Oh, mm. uh, pop quiz, curry. Okay, yeah, so it's what curry, kind? but this is chicken tikka masala. So again, this is the oh. national dish of Great Britain. Okay. It's invented there, it is freaking delicious. It's the most uh, sought after dish. This one and butter chicken are the two that you always have. Oh wow, okay. Salty lassi. Salty lassi, perfect. Salty lassi, and then we also have There's some mango lassi. Mm -hmm. So mango is a national fruit of India. That's why usually they'll have lassi with it. So it's basically mango Thank pulp you. mixed with uh, milk and wow. then yogurt, right? So, so yeah. I think you should try this one. I think you're gonna like okay. this one. This first? Yeah, let's try this first. It'll wow. quench your hunger a little bit, right? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. It's like an amazing smoothie. Mm. Mm. Love it. Fresh. And wow. fresh yogurt. Fresh, right? Yeah. And it's not lassi, it's lussi. Mm. You know lussi. Oh man, I learned, I learned. You know, I, I got people hated on me about it. They were like, you're saying it wrong. I'm like, okay, okay, I get it, I get it. Yeah, very yummy, right? Mm -hmm. And it's filling, it's it's nice and refreshing. And especially stop. like if you have a lot of spice or if it's really hot outside, okay. this is what you so use. So I should save some of that for a spicy moment. Yes, and then this one's like a salty one. Okay. So this is not sweet, a little wow. more like spices. Cheers. Cheers. Oh wow. Mm, right? Okay. It tastes like India. This does taste like India. Mm -hmm. A little mm -hmm. creamy, right? But very different from that one. This one's like almost like more liquidy. Mm -hmm. That one's thicker. That one's right. like more the Punjabi style. Because mm -hmm. in Punjab, where they come from, they make it very thick. Okay. In other places in India, they make it very just watered down. And uh, we're both starving, so I think we're just gonna jump on the shrimp that we already put on our okay. plate. No, no, hands, my friend, hands. We're <laughs> oh, doing hands. Oh, don't worry. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. So different, right? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm And the taste when it hit the tip of my tongue, it just like mm -hmm. popped the shrimp flavor. Exactly. Because I don't I don't like when things take away from tasting the seafood because I love seafood so. Yeah, so it's, it's like good. it's like wow. very succulent. There's also mm. spices, but then it's baked, so it's just like literally crumbles in your mm. mouth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could tell that the tandoori, you could it's different than just a shrimp on the grill, or oh no, completely different thing. The baked, nice. yeah, because if it was grilled, it would have a more like smoky chard. This is smoky, but it's baked, so it literally like the, the meat just falls, right? Wow, mm hmm, mm hmm. Couldn't even wait to che cheers you. I'm sorry, <laughs> I love the pop of flavor, yeah. Oh, that one's spice, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm handling it though, You're handling so it. I know, I know. It's, it's not so bad, right? <laughs> so, you want to try this one next? Oh, definitely. You know, what? I'm gonna serve you a bit of everything, okay, in most of the Western world, and in Great Britain, this is number one. Wow. And then obviously you get a lot of that yummy, creamy curry, right? Everybody I know loves this dish. And then you can never go wrong with it. Mm. It's so good. And then this is sag paneer. So it's a mix of greens. And on top we have cilantro. And look, it's just like almost Ugh. like a creamy spinach, right? Yeah. And you have to get this because that's what you need to soak up with the, with the bread, right? Wow. Mm -hmm. Look at that, so that's very chunky mm -hmm. paneer. It's like a big block of cheese. Yeah. I mean, I just want to dig in, but you tell me. What do, what do I have to do? You have to grab Ooh. some naan. This is ah, the best. It's amazing. I love naan. 
Lon is, naan is like the ultimate bread. So it's a flatbread. Obviously, you saw they made it. They rolled it out. Yeah. Tandoor. Fresh dough today. And wow. That's it. And then with this, you go in. Okay. And just so like right there, right? So you pick up. Nice scoop. In India, people go with the smaller bites, you know? Ah, I see. We, we are going for the big bite. Oh, cheers. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. I okay. love the creaminess, right? Wow, mm. delicious. It is too good. Mm. This is why wow. people like hate on it sometimes. Chicken tikka masala, butter chicken. But it, you can never mm. go wrong. Mm -mm. You can't. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. It's too good. That is just what I needed. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know. And that if you so good. And if you're like a vegetarian, mm -hmm. you can ask for the same thing. The sauce. But yeah, but with the cheese instead of the oh, chicken. Oh wow. Yeah, let's just go in there. Let's just eat this. So did you okay, so now I did too small. <laughs> uh, you do however you want. <laughs> if and I'm gonna get a piece of chicken. Yeah, they usually do small because they're not trying to overdo with the bread. Remember you're gonna eat a lot of bread. True. In this meal. Okay. Right here, cheers. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Oh yeah. Definitely does the job, right? Wow. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Mm. And the bread, right? Mm. The you, bread's what makes it. The homemade it. bread. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. And it's it's nice. It's like a little smoky. It's mm. doughy, but at the same time crispy. Mm -hmm. You know? Wow. Mm-hmm. So delicious. Mm. This is only dish number two right here. Mm. Mm. So that wow. that's cottage cheese. It's also in the time, it's ricotta. Mm. Made the same way. Mmm, wow. Right, so you just get a big chunk. Okay. Oh, it breaks, huh? Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Okay, that is mm. the word. I don't even know what else to say. Orgasmic. It is. <laughs> it's <laughs> that, almost sexual. This, uh, this I, is dip. it, right? <laughs> <laughs> what is the term for it, though? Orgasmic? Oh, <laughs> no, the term for this. What is the spinach called? Oh, oh uh, this is sag. So it's S A A G. Sag or say. Okay. Yeah, you say sag. Sag. All right. Sag. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I love this block of cheese. Wow. Right? It went down so easy. <laughs> mm hmm. That's what's crazy about it. It just rips down your throat, right? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So mm. creamy and. Mm. Oh, the cream. Yeah, and this one, I mean, mm -hmm. this is so many greens in here, right? There's mm. Lots of herbs in this, um, in this sag. Mm hmm. And then just oh, wow. soak it up, right? Wow. Oh, my favorite. Mmm, my favorite's over there. Okay, wow, we didn't even have your favorite yet. And it's uh -uh. already so good. And I, I really love the veg aspect of India. Like, if you really just want to stay away from meats, oh, really? you can eat a meat. Yeah, because look, look how tasty that so, was for a veg that's dish. That's so tasty. I mean, it's true. It doesn't, there's no comparable to it, you mm. know? Wow. Like, I, I look at vegan places in America, I'm like, it's flavorful, but it's not gonna be like this. Mm -hmm. This is like so satisfying. It is. Like after this meal. Extremely satisfying. Yeah, I mean, after this meal, we just like unbutter <laughs> the pants and just. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right? Like in Punjab. In Punjab, you know, I gained, I gained like five kilo in two days. <laughs> dude, it was crazy. Too, too, mu too much cream. All that distance right it's, there. Dude, it's mm -hmm. too much. Yeah, because over there where they're from, the, the men are like super tall, and everybody's just eating bread and butter, bread and butter, bread and butter. So we're gonna try two Indian beers. These are like the two staples of India. Taj Mahal and Kingfisher. They're both lagers, okay. so they're a lot lighter, like 4.5%. Very crisp beers, but I think you should definitely try them. Cool. All right, and it's pretty awesome. He gave us, you know, branded cups, right? So each one. Yes, I want the Taj, that's awesome. Which one do you want to try, both? Yeah, I'll try both, I'll try any. Cheers, Cheers. Kingfisher. All right. This is my favorite beer in India. Okay. Nice. Nice, right? Definitely. So it's definitely in one of these lighter beers, but like yeah, every right. country, you know, makes their like, you know, core beer. Mm -hmm. And it's usually like this, but this one still has a different taste. Mm -hmm. And in India, they have Kingfisher Strong, which is like oh. like two or three times more potent in terms okay. of alcohol. It's tastier, but now maybe try next to it, the Taj, you can see the difference, right? A little different, right? Mm-hmm. I guess you have to try at the same time, right? <laughs> the taste test. Mm -hmm. Would you be able to know which one was what? Yes, for sure. I don't love the Taj. 
Kingfisher. If I have to pick something, it's all the food. So, but this is this is refreshing, and I love the juice. But the beer is good. <laughs> all right, so we have three more things to go. Plus, we have the stuffed naan. So this is cheese naan, but he also threw in some spice, right? Mm. Oh, it's gonna be spicy. I think oh, it's gonna boy. be spicy. Yeah, you gotta try that one, man. You gotta try that one. Banam barta, right? It's basically, almost like an eggplant stew. Mm. I'm like, especially the Italian mm. eggplant. Oh, like so good. Excited. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, so okra is personally, I love it. Mm -hmm. And the way they do it, the dried way, is amazing. So it's yeah. very different than the way we get it here in America. You know, because usually I've had it more just plain. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is not plain. This is more just like mm. a mix of uh, spices, yeah, cool. but again, a dried masala. Mm -hmm. And then we'll leave some space on the side for eventually when we get to the, the king of dishes, Your right? Favorite. Oh, my favorite. So for this one, I mean, do you have any more regular bread? Let's get the yes. regular bread and we'll get in here. And again, enough? this is yeah, and this is how you eat northern Indian meal, right? Always with the bread. That's wow. the, the key. Okay, let me grab a piece, just like that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Nice and smoky. Wow. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very smoky, but lovely smoky. Like, yeah, right. Delicious smoky. Yeah, it's, it's so it's basically an eggplant mm. stew, right? So you have some onions in here, to tomatoes. So it's like a mix, plus there's a little bit of spices. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's a theme. Mm. That is a theme, Excellent. right? Excellent. I just can't stop it. I can see how you're addicted. It's just, it's the one food that you will never go wrong. Mm. You know? Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. And then for, yeah. the, for this one, you know, once your hands are already messy, mm -hmm. just pick it up. Oh, okay. You know? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Okra usually is like slimy. Mm. And this one's not. Okay. You know? And I think that's because they had it in the pan. They mixed it with masalas and a few other things, right? Okay. So this is proper etiquette for us to eat with our fingers. Yeah. The thing is that in Indian cuisine, you're allowed to use bread. You're allowed to use hands. Mm. And the main thing with it is all, like, if you use the metallic, the flavor will taste mm. uh, change, you know. Like it won't. Yeah, it'll putting be putting metal more, in your mouth. Putting metal in your mouth, right? A but we don't, we don't. No one tells us that in America. Mm -hmm. We tell us that it's how it's supposed to be. But wow. I like it. It's different, right? And it's mm -hmm. it's healthy. It's hearty a little bit, mm -hmm. you know. It's chunky. First time for everything. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and I think it's time to it's time. try this. La pizza, la pizza italiana, <laughs> una italiana qua. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's almost like, like a white pizza. Mm. Mm -hmm. No tomato, mm. just cheese and bread. Mm. Cheese and bread, you can't go wrong with mm -hmm. that. <laughs> mm. Mm. Tasty, not spicy. Mm-mm, it's up. Mm -hmm. It's just the right amount of spice. Mm -hmm. mm. So chutney, I, I'd say the comparable is like almost like a salsa. You know, mm. and that's tamarind, super sweet. This one's mint and cilantro. Mm. One again. Tamarind. Tamarind. Oh yeah, it's, it's so good, sweet. Aww. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Wow. Mmm. So usually like mm. you'll like dip things in it. This one and coconut one are like the best. But coconut usually mm. is like South Indian breakfast, like with the Indian crepe. Mm. So it's a little different. Oh, that's a whole different thing. This is North Indian, South Indian is a whole different world. Wow. I know. This is the mink uh, and, and cilantro. Mmm. Mm. Tasty, right? Mm-hmm. Mmm. So that's many good. different flavors. And again, like everything in India changes from 50 kilometers because different tribes, you know, different cultures. Love it. It's amazing. It really is. Oh, and now we made it to the grand finale. Oh, well, actually, we have dessert, but let's jump on. Okay. Oh, you, you can try that one. If you want, try the pickle. Yeah. You want to try pickle? I try it all. Okay, let's try pickle. So I'm going to put it around there. Just, oh, that one. one. Okay. Yeah. So. So this is, uh, I don't yeah, even know, is... some pickle. Mmm. Tangy, crunchy, and then that spice. But I don't usually like spice, but I'm loving the spice. Ready for the king. The king. Oh, I love it. So this one, it's a little different, right? So they made it like almost like a stir fry. Oh my god, mm -hmm. everything's falling off. So there's cilantro. There is lamb. Mm. So I'm gonna put it here where there's not that many sauce, right? Mm -hmm. Caramelized onions in it? Yeah, I think so. Mm. I say this all the time, why it's called the king of dishes. Well, basically during uh, the Mughal Empire, which was the the empire that was there north, um, right before the British arrived, they made this mainly for royalty, and wow. no one no one else can eat it. 
like the king. The king, exactly. And so I'm gonna show you the technique of how they do this, right? Okay. So this is mainly in South India. They basically go in here with their hands and you break the meat, right? So the reason why you break the meat is because you don't wanna have the meat in this big chunk. You wanna like right. mix it in the rice. Wow, the fact that you could do it with your fingers and not a knife, you could already tell how oh. the meat quality and I mean, yeah, yeah, look at that. It. It's just like so tender, oh. just falls okay, apart. Okay. And this is like, okay. this one and go is my favorite. Oh, let me see. Oh yeah. Wow. Awesome, right? And it's nice and hot. You can still feel like. Oh yeah. And it's so much fragrant. Like it's, right? And then you move all the grains together and then you try to stack and make a little ball. Just okay. like that, right? Okay. And then you put it on the bottom three fingers and use a thumb to push in, okay? So, and then we also have over there right there which is just brought, which is like a, a yogurt. I don't have uh, a ball like yours, but okay. Oh, so you go like this, just go like that. And like move it all together. Like you gotta use all five fingers, right? Oh, all five. All five, oh, okay. all five elements, right? And then you go like this, just like that. Okay. And then when you're ready, ready? Oh, let me get a better wall. <laughs> you did better than me hey. this time. All right, ready, one, two, three. Mm-hmm. Right? Mmm. Very nice. This one's different. Mm. Super tasty. Mm. The lamb. Mmm. Mm. So fresh, bro. Mmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Oh man. Clove in mm -hmm. there. Mm-hmm. Mmm. There's so many different tastes here. The flavors. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Wow. Yeah. This one, lamb and goat, the top Ooh. for me. Okay. Mm-hmm. This is the king. I see why. Mm-hmm. It's fun too. I mean, probably kids like, you know. Oh yeah. They're told not to play with their food, but it's like well, you're you not, get your in your like. You're playing, but you're actually like. You're like making it. You're making it. Yeah, yeah. You're making it so you can yeah. actually eat it correctly, right? Mmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna put right though, right? Mm. So this one it's a little thicker. I think yeah. this carrots, this cucumbers, it, it re reminds me a lot. Uh, it's not the same, but like a very similar to tzatziki, which is the Greek mm -hmm. sauce, right? Mm -hmm. Which is basically the Greek ketchup. Literally, that's what they use for everything with French fries with yidos. And now we literally just mix it in, right? right in. Okay. Yeah, maybe I put way too much. So, like, you don't want to have oh, okay. too much, but look at that. It just becomes like a glue, right? Ooh. Right, so ma mix all the this rice is in. Great. Just like that. Like, wow. Right. Every culture is different. You gotta respect the culture, right? Mm hmm. See, mine is like literally just a right the ball. Wow. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Cucumber. Mm. Mm hmm. Nice and fresh. Wow. Nice yogurt. Mm hmm. This mm. is so cool. Mm hmm. It's enjoyable. It's pleasant. Extremely. I mean, it really just gives you a different taste, right? Wow. There's and, so many different tastes that we had. I know. Taste of India. Taste That's of India, great. exactly. And then now you can go crazy and mix literally everything that you have on your plate oh, in it. Oh, I, I love know. that. Right? And mm -hmm. if you want even more crazy, you get the, the chicken tikka masala, mm -hmm. the actual, like, the, the base, the cream, and put it on top. Whoa. The curry, you know? You can do that if you want, but I'm just mixing Let's everything get crazy. here. Let's get crazy. You want to do it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe just dump on a little bit. Let's get crazy. Just gonna put it on the side so you can mix what you want. Cool. Okay, so we just mix it in with that, and now you make it, like, super red. Even this, too? Everything, everything. Okay, just mix everything, it in. Everything. I mean, it all tastes good, right? Wow. All right, my friend, I'm gonna have my last bite. Wow, yeah, you're, you're beating me there. I, I, I won, right? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. She's great. And you're embracing this. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I love being embracing it. There's nothing I don't try. Mm. So good. Mm. You know, you wouldn't think putting that all together, like, what would it create? Maybe like a sloppy mess, but it's not. Mm. It's like really a tasty masterpiece. Wow. I mean, look at your masterpiece. You brought chai. Chai, masala chai. Oh yes. Thank you so much. So my friend, we have the two main, I don't think the main, okay, so this one you're gonna find everywhere. This is gulab jamun. Milk balls, almost like donuts, mm. right? Mini donuts. Like mini donuts. I think they put coconut on top from mm. what I can see. And then it's basically drowning in sugar syrup and it's hot. Whoa. I know, nah. it's super, super decadent. Next to it, we have ras malai. So this is actually the paneer, ras the malai. cheese. Basically soaking in amazing milk with saffron. Saffron is the most expensive spice mm. on the planet. So this is my favorite. I'm gonna always say it's my favorite, but I combine them when I have the half of this and then I'll combine the other half with that. I'm just like, perfect. So let's jump on this one. 
That's that, right? And then what you do is you let it like soak up, like soak, right? Mm. And then pull one out. Okay. Yeah, so now, now it's really gonna be like full of sweetness. Wow. And when I mean sweet, super decadent. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, mm. wow. It would just fall apart, huh? Mm. Wow. <laughs> Bro, you love mm. this. Mm, so sweet. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm. That wow. is amazing. <laughs> I know. So it feels like a donut, right? But it's better different. Better than a donut? Better than a donut. Because it's soft and... That's just pure sugar, right? But it's amazing. It is. But this one will Well worth it. Yeah, yeah. It, this is, everywhere you go in India, you're gonna have this. And there's also one in Bengali, like in Kolkata, called Rasgula. Mm. Very similar, but white. This is better because the one ingredient I said, the saffron, changes it. Mm. All right, so we just okay. go in here. Okay. Look at that, look at how crumbly it is. Wow. I know, it is so good. Mm. Mm-hmm. Cheers. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Mm. Taste buds on fleek. Yeah, right? Mm. Oh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like that, that spice, you know, that saffron. Mm. And then that's like, you would never know that's cheese, right? Mm. But now it's time for you to do this. So I cut this guy in half. No. And then we literally... <laughs> so I'm just gonna like literally drop this guy on top. Mm. Yeah, yeah, just grab one and one. Yeah, just like that. Right, plus the sugar syrup, so it's like soaking it up. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. The donut is like hot too, and I know. like, it's like very moist. Very moist. Well, cheers. Cheers. Last bite. Mmm. 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 -mm. We did it. Oh, last thing. You got chai, so it's not tea. It's chai. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good, right? That's a cardamom, mm, cinnamon. This is a meal. From mm. top to bottom. Exactly. I like it. I mean, it. we did the whole thing, right? So India, that's the mix, right? So we did a little bit of sal with the biryani, the rice. Mm -hmm. and then we obviously, we did the curries, we did the, the naan. We did a few different veg dishes, we did some non-veg dishes. We had sweets and then we had chai. Mm. That is literally how you would eat in North India. Wow. Every day. But obviously change it up every day. Incredible, thank you, you so love much. It? This is. Awesome. I loved it. Fantastic. Well, that was Taste of India mm. here in Sherman Oaks. So that is like, a, I don't know, like a 30 minute drive north of Hollywood, right? Mm -hmm. So over the hills, of Beverly Hills. Well worth it. Well worth it. Yeah, we had an incredible experience here. Thanks to the family. Thank you guys. Yes. Thank you so much. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thumbs up, leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. We'll see you in the next travel food adventure somewhere in LA. Tomorrow, yes. more Indian. <laughs> nah, I'm eating so much Indian food, it's nuts, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, this is so good, right? So good. So good. Just try it, try. It in, you know how they do it in India? Chai, 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 oh, chai, yeah. chai, chai, <laughs> chai, 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 chai. Yeah, because the guy is walking around selling chai. Uh -huh. So he'd be like, chai, 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 oh chai, 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 chai. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's intense. It's actually like he'll circle you until you like buy a cup. I think we, we have to do that. I need to go there with you. I think you should. I'm sold. Yeah, yeah.